welcome to another episode of Afro Scientific Spirituality. My name is Three Mensifi West. If this is your first time on the channel, you are highly, highly welcome. This is the place where we separate the facts from the fiction, the science from the superstition, and the concept from the misconceptions about African spirituality. Today, uh, I am going to be talking about the use of tomato leaves in African spirituality. This is a topic that uh, was recently requested by a subscriber, and uh, I think that is a very, very important topic due to the fact that uh, the tomato plant is a very, very popular plant, and uh, most of us eat it every day, and we often overlook its spiritual and medicinal properties. We just eat it, we use it to cook and stew in West Africa. We eat it a lot. In fact, uh, we just cannot do without it. And uh, it's a very, very essential plant uh, for sustaining of life. And uh, it is very useful spiritually. We use it for a lot of spiritual things. And recently, the leaves have been discovered to be very, very uh, full of uh, antibacterial enzymes, especially in the farming, the animal husbandry industry. So uh, I want us to go into it today and so we can know the many benefits and we can start appreciating this wonderful plant called tomato. The name of the tomato plant, the scientific or botanical name as they know it is uh, Solanum lycopersium. Please, uh, the name is on the screen so that you can be able to find it and know how to pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce them. And uh, this is a plant that is very, very popular in the world today. Everybody know about tomatoes. Everybody know about pepper. We eat it all the time. I eat it a lot. Right now it's on my table. And uh, there's no household in this world, I believe you, you will find that they don't have this plant and they don't eat it. So uh, what does it really do? Uh, apart from the fact that it's a vegetable that gives a lot of vitamin and a uh, lot of uh, nutrients to the body, the plant also have many spiritual uses in the world of spirituality. Uh, in Africa, West Africa, people often plant it in their garden a lot. Apart from the fact that uh, it's a direct source of getting uh, fresh vegetables for the kitchen, it also helps to ward off uh, evil spirits from the house. People plant it with the aim of uh, protecting their compound, protecting the environment. It has that kind of uh, ability. So people use it for protection a lot. And uh, one thing you need to know about uh, tomatoes is that uh, it belongs to the family of plants we call the nine shades plants. These are plants that are used for, we can say spiritual properties. We use some of them for also uh, serious spell work, also for painful spells as well. As a member of the Nine Shade family, people use tomato leaves for painful walkings. And uh, it is one of the best kept secret for those sort of things. And um, in uh, not only in Africa, in other parts of the world, in Western black magic, uh, in the Eastern Europe, the Slavic people, some of the uh, Western wishes that use tomato leaf as part of uh, ingredients they say for transforming themselves into other creatures or werewolf or something like that. I don't really know much about that, but uh, use this leaf for something like that. In West Africa, we use uh, tomato leaves for protection. We use it for spiritual baths. If uh, you are somebody that you feel that uh, you have been jinxed, Maybe you are practicing a form of spirituality. It is not working for you. People are using you buy a certain uh, ointment, a certain uh, uh, spell, or you try to do some spiritual work. It works for other people. When it gets to your turn, it doesn't work for you. It's like something is blocking your spiritual progression, your spiritual uh, ascension. Tomato leaf is uh, what we use or what people use to break off those kind of things. What they do is that uh, you get tomato leaves and uh, you get ashes, ashes that you have burned uh, from your altar or ashes that you have gotten from a sacred space or just regular ashes, but it's good to get the one from your altar, from insects, ashes as well. You mix it 
then uh, you pound it together. Then you can also mix it with uh, African black soap and any spiritual ointment you can get your hands on, preferably beans El Sudan or six flour. You use this mixture to bait for like three days, three nights in a row. You bait with native swench with it and then you throw away this swench after the three days. So what it does is that uh, any genes that is blocking your spiritual ascension, your spiritual progress or your spiritual work, the power of the tomato leaf coupled with the ashes and uh, the perfume, the bean of Sudan perfume is going to wash that thing from your body. So people use it for that. People also use it for favor. People use it for favor to get favor from people. They use this uh, so tomato leaf for spiritual baths. Then uh, people also use it uh, for kind of uh, to revive somebody that have overdosed. Maybe you have somebody that is drunk, bastard, or somebody that is have taken a lot of drugs that they have now kind of in a state of coma. You want to revive them. You want to wake them up. What uh, people do is that they take the tomato leaf, they squeeze it, and uh, put some of these droplets in the nose of that person that have been drunk, and uh, or the person is on drugs. The person will wake up. We become a uh, uh, saint. We the person will become a week, so they use it for that sort of thing. So uh, tomato leaf is a uh, very, very good herbs. Women drink it. It works a lot uh, for the reproductive system to cleanse the body. People use tomato leaf to make tea, special tea, they boil the leaves and then they drink the water of the leaf. What this does is that uh, it helps to clean the system, uh, especially the reproductive system, it washes bacteria that are in the system, urinary tract infections, and stuff like that. And uh, recently, what uh, modern science have discovered about uh, tomato leaf in the area of agriculture and in the area of uh, reproductive health, they have come to see that uh, tomato leaf have some very, very powerful enzyme inside that is very, very powerful. And uh, it is used to fight uh, an STD that they call trichosomonis virginalitis. Trichosomonis virginalitis or something like that. This is a kind of uh, STD, sexually transmitted disease that uh, is uh, from bacteria. It is not from virus. It's a bacteria, sexually transmitted disease. This disease can be uh, gotten from sexual partners. It can also be gotten from dirty toilets. So uh, it is a disease that uh, it is not so harmful to humans because we humans kind of quite naturally, you beat yourself every day. But uh, for animals, it is very, very dangerous. And uh, in cows, in uh, pigs, in bulls, uh, also in cats and dogs, this, and this um, STD affects them. When it gets to them, it causes um, sterility and infertility, especially to the female animals, it uh, causes spontaneous abortion in these animals, especially farm animals. So when the animals got pregnant, the bacteria will kill the offspring in those animals. So so many uh, farms in America, so many dairy farms, or uh, uh, farming pig and bulls and uh, cows, they have come to discover that uh, due to the uh, many of the cows or many of these bacteria are now becoming very, very strong uh, against them. They are becoming resistant to the antibiotics that they have been giving to the farm animals. The bacteria have now mastered those antibiotics and it does not work anymore. So what um, this farm is doing now, they are now looking for alternative organic uh, uh, biotics. They are now looking for other ways of of fighting these bacteria organically. And uh, since uh, 19, uh, 2018, there, this study came out that they discovered that tomato leaf is very, very effective against uh, these bacteria that causes this spontaneous abortion in cows and uh, pigs and farm animals. So they have been giving uh, water that contains tomato leaf to the animals to drink to fight this very, very sickness. 
and uh, it has been very, very effective. So uh, tomato leaf is now in very high demand now because they have come to discover that it works on farm animals and it fights it very uh, bacteria called trichosomasis and uh, the they have three strains of this one is trichosomasis vaginalysis that one is for humans the std then for animals they have trichosomasis photos they also have trichotomatis photos they have two strains d1 strain and c1 strain so what they are using to fight this disease or this bacteria infection in animals is tomato leaf i'm going to put the link of this very study on under this video so you can check the study and see what they have done there's a lot of information on that study so you can see the importance of tomato leaf so tomato leaf is not something we should be undervaluing anymore it has many medicinal and spiritual properties and this is something that you can easily plant in your garden plant in your house and uh, you don't really need to go far you just plant it and you use the leaf for spiritual work if you have farm animals you find that they are having spontaneous abortion you just put the tomato leaf water you give it to them to drink it's very easy you don't need to spend money you solve that problem so tomato leaf is a very very important leaf it's very very important leaf okay so uh, this is all uh, the latest news on tomato leaves so many farms in america and canada and europe they are now using this leaf for treatment of their farm animals which is a very very good thing no need for expensive antibiotics that we pollute the, the meat of the animals and also pollute humans you just give them something organic it's very very good for organic farming and uh, very very effective so tomato leaf is uh, something that uh, you should look into if you are into husbandry farming, something you want to be using to protect the lives and health of your, your animals. Tomato leaf uh, is very, very good and uh, something you can also drink too. Uh, very effective. Some people also squeeze mix the leaf with coconut water for favor. They get the tomato leaf, uh, you mix it with coconut water, squeeze it inside. You also mix it with paint or sudan perfume that you use it to be cleaning your face. Maybe you want to go for interview, you want to go for to get favor for some people, you can use this solution to be cleaning your face or you add it to your perfume and spray it on your body or you use it to bathe. Just be using it to bathe every day and uh, to get favor, to get good things to come to your life. So this is uh, some of the things that they use tomato leaf for. Okay, it's very good for cleaning reproductive system, very good for washing and setting, it's very good for favor, very good for protection, and uh, very good for farm animals too. So they also use it for painful work as well, but uh, I will not go into that one for this channel. But you, you can use it for a lot of things. So if you have tomato plants in your garden, you might want to take advantage of this leaf. It's very, very good. So uh, this is what I have for you today. Please like and share this video, subscribe to the channel as always. Hit the notification bell close to the subscribe button so that you'll be the first to get notification of my videos as soon as I release them. And uh, please uh, support the channel, share the channel. Uh, if you are benefiting from this knowledge you are getting here, donations are welcome. I'm uh, very grateful for that. If you want to learn more about your African spirituality, please uh, subscribe to my uh, website www.kindoki.net so you can get more information uh, about African spirituality. If you have questions, comments, they are welcome and uh, this is how we do it. So I wish you a wonderful day and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Take care and bye. Peace.